Today's Pack-A-Punch broadcast is presented by Vesta Nutra. Vesta Nutra, where we can help make sure all your supplements pack a punch. Hello, welcome to the Pack-A-Punch podcast. We are so excited that you're here and you're joining us for this great podcast. My name is Valerie Salm. I'm here with the fantastic and lovely Mr. Richard Pinner. Hey, 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 hey. It's Super Friday. Val, what's happening? It is Friday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. (laughs) Wow. I was expecting that. Uh, it's Friday, and um, let's see. Next week is Thanksgiving, which is super exciting. We we had our little Thanksgiving feast yesterday here at work, and it was so good. I forgot how much I loved Thanksgiving food. Oh, Thanksgiving food is always delicious because you don't cook it, and usually you don't have to clean up. Yes. So it's always special. <laughs> well, you as a man, I guess you don't have to clean up. I have to clean up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. That's, I'm sorry. I, I feel for you. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> You just go watch your little football games. You're damn right. <laughs> go Bears. The Bears. Well, speaking of Thanksgiving food, I was kind of excited yesterday because I could taste. I could taste yesterday. And I had a new sensation oh. yesterday, actually. I forgot to tell you this. Um, I was putting on some hand lotion, and it was coconut, and I could smell it. Whoa, you had taste and smell? Yes. Now, as a COVID was... survivor, you have been fighting those symptoms. Yes. And it's uh, it's interesting because there was a big thing about the quarterback at uh, Dallas Dalton. He uh, also was a COVID survivor. Wait, he's, who? He you was know. a quarterback? Quarterback for Dallas Cowboys? Uh, he's a bit. He's a backup quarterback. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, he's a uh, he's kind of a COVID survivor too. But he had made comment about losing his sense of taste and smell. Okay. So I mean, it, this this common factor is real. True. It's real. And, yeah, I, and, I'm, and you, I'm here and to you, tell you. <laughs> you got some of that back. It's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. So March, and this is well, we're in November. How many months is that? I don't know. That's at that's, least eight months, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's taken forever, and I have to say that I was excited about the smell, but I had to, like, put my hand right up to my nose <laughs> to be able to smell that coconut, but I was still super excited about it. And, yes, I could taste my um, my Thanksgiving food, and that was exciting. So I'm excited to hopefully have that same taste because it kind of comes and goes. I'm excited to hey, see if any, the real Thanksgiving. Anytime I eat, if I can't taste or smell, it's just not worth it. Yeah. I really think that those fish oil pills have been helping me wow. to get my taste back. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, what I was going to say, like we talked before, uh, there's something that's actually sparking that because you have little intervals when it comes in and right. then it goes out. Yes. It's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't glad, know if it's I, cool, but. Hey, well, anytime you can taste and smell, <laughs> right. that's, that's, that's a win-win. Yeah. It makes for a good dining experience. Like we were talking about earlier, it's interesting the different um uh, what are the symptoms, the the ongoing after you know after COVID symptoms that keep going for months. Um, I know people are experiencing um, a lot of lung issues and breathing issues still. I have a friend that says uh, she was posting her stuff on on Facebook the other day, and she was saying how she still can't take really deep breaths. She can't. She wouldn't be able to blow up a balloon very well. She's you know she's still struggling with that, and that's. She also had it. Well, no, she had it in uh, January, I think. Wow. So um, I know that there's people, who, you know, it, it's doing things to their heart, maybe weakening things for their heart. So I've been looking at some of our ingredients here. Um, you know, we sell uh, MK7, which is vitamin K2. And some things like that are just excellent for your heart to, to strengthen your heart. And um, the benefit with MK7 is that it also it carries that calcium and stuff away from your heart and takes it to your bones and your teeth and your eyes. So it's got an extra benefit, but uh, anything you can do to strengthen your heart or your lungs, um, anything like that is beneficial with COVID. And I, I wouldn't have really thought that, you know, because you think of it more of like a flu or a well, cold. They or say COVID is a, a, a very interesting, engaging way of impacting all your body, mm-hmm. not just your respiratory system. Right. So, I mean, like your sense of taste and smell, right. uh, people's lungs. Uh, people having issues in uh, maintaining thought. I mean, it's 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 still yet to be determined. But bottom line is, if you can kind of arrest some of that with supplements like what we provide here at Vesta, right? That's a key component. And you know, the MK7 is is big, and the CoQ10 mm-hmm. also another good vascular upgrade to help um, synthesize processings and giving you uh, better cognitive faculties and mm-hmm. helping that synaptic 
pop and spot in your brain, right. helping you continue to hopefully improve your immune system. So, and then of course, our standard beta glucan one three D, a no brainer for coin. Right, absolutely. Both immune boosters. Right. I think we need to call up that uh, quarterback at at the Dallas Cowboys and let him know we've got some stuff that might help him. Hey, Andy, <laughs> we got some for you, Andy Dalton. <laughs> We're coming for you, buddy, and we got something great for you. How are the Cowboys doing this season? They, I remember back in the 80s, my brother was the biggest Dallas Cowboys fan ever. Excuse me, stop you. The Bears. And speaking of contract oh, manufacturing, whatever. hey, yeah. <laughs> moving right along. Contract manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> Vista. <laughs> Val, what do, you, what do you think about it? I mean, CM, as you know, is going through a lot of issues because of uh, the COVID thing has impacted supply chain demands, yes. and it's caused a lot of breakdowns in labor. Right. And uh, Yeah. Well, here in the Midwest, we've kind of got a different story. We have a pretty powerful workforce, and um, and also we haven't really. I mean, we've had a few sl- supply chain issues from what our purchasing guy has told us, but uh, for the most part, we're doing okay. We're we're really doing okay. Uh, with startups, I mean, you know, they usually have a lot of questions, have a lot of uh, suspicions, and no real insights. How, how do you handle it? I mean, in a CM environment, what's 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 it look like? Well, it, it's definitely important to vet your, your contract manufacturer. And, you know, some manufacturers have uh, capabilities that other ones don't have. Uh, for instance, here at Vesta, we specialize in, in um, dry powders and things like that. We don't do liquids. So um, it's important to find out, you know, what exactly you're going for. And that's really where the process starts is what do you what do you want to get done you know and we can't that that's your that's your thing you're developing your product so we're here to help you every step of the way with that but it's going to start with um you know somebody deciding do i want to make something innovative do i want something that's for immunity because that's the trending topic um do do i want a tablet or a capsule do i want a powder you know it, all these things the more you can come to a contract manufacturer with the better that's going to give you a head start but if you don't have those things we're absolutely here to help you through we've got a team of experts who can help formulate and um, you know we can do R&D runs that help us decide should this be a tablet or maybe should this be a capsule or you know, there's the sizes of things. That's what R and D is for, is to figure that kind of stuff out. It's a little bit of a upfront cost. Um, here at Vesta, a lot of times we will reimburse that cost on the placement of the PO. We didn't hear that reimbursement number, <laughs> but actuality, we do do extend ourselves in a turnkey scenario. We do with consulta- what I would call consultative selling, right? Where we sit up and do the hopefully uh, R&D for you if you need it. We do the formulation for you if you need that and structure out your packaging, labeling, and even graphic design. So we are truly a turnkey operation. Right. So the, I'd say the process is to, um, if somebody was you know, having a startup, they would, they'd give us a call and say, hey, I've got this idea. And you might have an idea for three ingredients. You might have an idea for one ingredient and say, where do I start? And we, what we will do is take that to our technical team and say uh, the end result that this customer is trying to uh, produce is an immunity ingredient. And they want to start with, uh, you know, devil's claw. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> I don't know if devil's claw is an immunity it, ingredient it, it, or not. It's out there, though. It's a real ingredient. Uh, there's another one called lion's mane. Yes, indeed. Uh, there's a cat's claw. You there's bet. some weird weird ingredients out there. But Elderberry. <laughs> So, um, so we would take that, and honestly, our 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 technical director will say, you know, Devil's Claw is not for immunity. What are you thinking? <laughs> and that's the benefit of having the consultative platform. Right, right. And and he will either say, okay, this is your call. If you, if that's what you want to do, we'll go with it because this is what you want to do. But I w- want to recommend, uh, you know, beta glucan for immunity or something like that. And so he's pretty straight up and forward, and um, some people might find that kind of abrasive, but it's actually very useful in in the process. And so once we decide that formulation and everybody agrees on that, we may need to do some R&D just to make sure that it's going to fit in the tablet or the capsule. Um, R&D, it's on an individual basis. Every project is different, and usually our technical team says, we probably should do an R&D on this, and then we take that back to you as the customer and get your approval on that. 
once we get that that stuff done, it's going to go, uh, once we receive your PO, you've decided, yes, I want to move forward with that. Uh, what we do is take that PO and we start the production process. And it goes to our, our scheduling and um, it goes to purchasing because they have to source those ingredients. If, if you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're not using our in-house ingredients here at Vesta, then we have to source those ingredients. And, uh, you know, they can be difficult. It can be easy, <laughs> depending on what you want. If you want organic ingredients, those are <coughs> more expensive. Those Indeed. are harder to come by. Indeed. Uh, if you want something that's not from China, that becomes really difficult because a lot of ingredients come from China. Um, you know, there's just a lot of hurdles that you have to get over in the whole process. But eventually it happens. Usually takes... Oh, it can take anywhere from eight to twelve weeks in the in the process, and I know that feels like a pain point, but that's pretty much industry standard. Um, especially right now in the Midwest, we are getting more, a lot more. I know you, Richard, have uh, been talking to a lot of startup people in, in the past few weeks, sure. and um, sure, I think <clears throat> and, and, and point of reference, uh, people always wonder why is uh, some cost or some testing. Issues come into play. Uh, testing, huge in regards testing, to yeah. pricing. Uh, people don't understand the dynamics of that. Uh, That's how, true. How well, important that. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't <clears throat> think people truly understand the importance of testing. And uh, and here, Vesta, we do because we generate a gold standard product and right. we do third party testing, so it's completely unbiased. Right. And we do the whole three level of testing to engage everything that's important. Right. We have got some kind of serious quality department too. I would call her the head of our quality department. She's sort of like a testing Nazi. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> <laughs> she will not cut corners. She does not let stuff pass. And it can be as annoying as anything. Oh, but yeah. on the other hand, that's what makes us who we are. And so the testing, you know, there's some consequences to test to not testing. Um, the FDA sends out letters. Um, our quality department has shown me some of the letters where people are getting things recalled. Uh, they're wasting a lot of money because they weren't willing to invest the money in the testing. And I don't know, I guess they found a shady uh, contract manufacturer somewhere that didn't make them test. But, um, you know, in the end, that can cost you way more than your upfront costs would have ever, ever co uh, cost you. Oh, yeah. A recall of a complete product made, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money down the toilet. Yeah. And one of these days, we'll do a podcast on testing alone. <clears throat> and we might even bring in our quality lady because she's got Oh, she she's can, got she got can really insight. give us some insight. Yeah, that'd like, be great. The insight of a Nazi. <laughs> but once we, you know, get past the testing, uh, get past the production, and you, I don't, I don't know, This it's kind of funny because you can run into problems in the production. You know, you've got equipment problems, you've got uh, flow and blending issues and things like that. So these are the reasons why production can take so long. If you're wondering why the, you know, 8 to 12 week window is so long, there's just so many things that can go wrong. But there's so many things that go right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's what it's called, trial and error. Right. And we, we have hurdles, but we always overcome those hurdles. So we get through it, we get it tested, and, uh, and then we ship it to you. Bingo. I mean, it sounds simplified, but those are the basic steps. The key element is that you have a consultative team that's going to take and make the necessary uh, changes and modifications to your formulation and your processes to make sure it's profitable and viable. Right. And that's important because as a startup, you're going to need somebody to hold your hand and take you through that process. Right. So you, a, go ahead. you might get really tired of hearing questions from Richard and his assistant Morgan because uh, they're going to have a lot of upfront questions in this formulation time. Information but is not only power, but it's processes that make sense. That's Yeah, that's the important part, getting the, the upfront work done. So once we get that done and we get it produced and we get you an awesome product and then, you know, we just wish the most we want we want you to be successful in your marketing and we'll even help you with any kind of marketing you know we'll be glad to advise you on anything um, anything in that area too I mean, well, we're not I suppose like I said, we're not the marketing experts no, but, but we, we we are we can we are there for we you can definitely help as a turnkey all those plateaus and levels of expertise are going to be at your disposal yeah and I think we've done a pretty good Overview of contract manufacturing for today, Val. Yeah. I mean, I like the way you brought that into perspective because the whole perspective of 
Well, you get it in, then you find out what you want to do, then you run it through an RD, then yep. you have somebody tell you if it's right or wrong. Right. All those things make it work. And I mean, that's yeah. that's what Vest is good at. I mean, from a startup perspective, we're very good for that. And yeah. we take a, a necessary step of communication, which makes it good. Right. So I think, I think just one important takeaway from this is if you're a startup or if you're, a, you know, a, you know, a solid company, um, come with flexibility, you know, come with um, options and knowing that, well, maybe we could have a little less of this in- ingredient and more of this one to make the flow better or to make the tablet work better. Just come flexible. Be open-minded. Right. We'll make what you need in the end. We'll make it, you know. Make it work. Yeah, we will. And that's what I say. We are here to make it work. And, you know, thanks again for hanging out with us today. It's been awesome. And I want to tell you, don't forget to look us up on Facebook at Pack-A-Punch Podcast. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You can also catch us on the internet at info.vestanutra.com backslash Pack-A-Punch. <laughs> And we look forward to your feedback, your you know your interest, your questions. You know, let us know where you're at, how you feel. Val, what do you think? Well, I'm excited about the week ahead. Thanksgiving, short work week, lots of good food. We got good things coming up. All righty now. Well, <laughs> thanks again, gang. Pack a punch. Woo. You've been listening to the Pack a Punch broadcast. Brought to you by Vesta Nutra. If you like what you heard today, please share, like, and subscribe.